I'm Chicano and this is paradise. I'm about to take you guys in for a quick dip. <sighs> That's right. Waterproof. Got a little GoPro. One more. This is Paradise Living. Um, man, feels like I haven't talked to you guys in a while because I did a lot of recording um, up in uh, Turkey, Greece, different parts of, of Spain. And I've just been super backed up on my recordings because um, I've been... Uh, searching I wouldn't say desperately but I've been actively searching for um, real estate and I thought to myself you're in paradise why not get yourself an apartment that's closer to the water as you guys can see from behind me in the back watch you guys can see so many apartments right here so many apartments right there. This is uh, Calatarida. Um, my apartment is actually in one of the most active parts of the island, which is San Antonio. So yeah, long story short, I bought an apartment here in Ibiza. And oh man, it was stressful. It was like a culmination, a culmination of, I don't know, it was a long search, man but the point of this video is to talk to you guys about the come up and then the fuck up after the come up yes i know you guys have heard it before from me but it seems to be the common theme with me and by that i mean um falling out of the grace of god or mentally thinking that you have I hope I don't have a bug or anything, but and I tend to do that after something big. So I'm gonna explain to you guys what happened. Because it didn't need to happen. And this is how quick you can fall from grace with God. And you don't have to. That's the thing. I didn't have to fall from grace, but we all have our portals. We have our portals where people or well, not people or demons demons can enter you through and I have got into a place where they were powerless over me already I did fervent praying fervent praying really passionate uh, connection with Jesus I talk to Jesus every day I read the Bible um, I meditate so I, I was doing good and I still am. I'm still doing good. I'm still doing good. Um, but what happened was, so we got my apartment, right? We got our apartment. And I was feeling great. I was like, man, feels good. Let's celebrate, right? And I said, no, no alcohol, no alcohol. So that day we didn't drink. The next day we didn't drink. Um, the third day, we were at uh, Mercadona, which is a popular supermarket here. And this is where the demon entered the portal. So there was an attractive British girl um, who worked out, highly developed glutes to put it nicely. Um, and I got distracted and my wife noticed too. And so I was like, Jeez, I, I sense it. I sense it. Um, because we did a turnaround and there she was again. When we paid, there she was again. And she smiled, which could have been innocent, but my mind was already in the gutter. And so the day went on and I kept thinking about her. I was like, dude, I just want to chat it up with her. So 
Then I told my wife, hey, I think we deserve a little beer to celebrate. There you go. There you go. That was it. That was it. So we went, we had a beer. And then I was thinking, hopefully I can bump into her and say hi and ask her where she's from. You know, what part of England she's from. I know she was English, so, because I heard her speaking. Or, yeah, from she had English type of English. Not, not Scottish and not Irish or Northern Ireland. It was English. I would say Manchester. And so, um, yeah, so I was actively searching for her to bump into her and talk to her. And so then we had another drink and then another drink. And my wife wanted to go back up. So I told her back up to the mountain where we live. So I told her, uh, you go, you go and I'll hang out here like a dumbass, you know? And so what happened then is I kept um, drinking. I kept drinking and I kept drinking and then my phone was dying. So, and I didn't have a charger. And then I was asking people at the bar like a poor man if they can um if they can let me borrow their charger and i just felt so like out of place and everyone at the bar that i was at didn't have one and i started feeling like weird so i got a little upset and i left and then i went to another bar and i had a beer there and guess what nobody there had a charger my phone was about to die. I told my wife to come pick me up because my phone was going to die. And she, I mean, she said, yeah, I'll be there in a little bit. A little bit turned a long time. So then I kept walking and I went to another bar. And then my phone was dying and I said, I don't see you. So I'm just going to walk home. It's a long walk because we live up in the mountain. It would have been like an hour. And so my phone died after that. So after that, no connection. My wife could have been looking for me. And I would have I would have not known unless we saw each other on the street. And so I went to another bar. It was already closing. They were closing. And then I told them, hey, guys, let me borrow a charger, man. I got a, an hour walk up home if I don't if I don't have it. It's an iPhone. Everybody has an iPhone. Come on, guys. And they're like, oh, I'm sorry. We're going to close. And I got upset. So then look, here's a the proof. There was a wall there. Bah, I just saw the wall. And I said, man, fuck you guys. Hey, all you guys are assholes and this and that. And there you go. There's my other portal right there. Rage. It turned to rage. So there you go. Those are those are my, my two weaknesses right there. The first one is lust. The second one is rage. And so then I had a long walk home. Had a long walk where I was just pondering my life. I'm like, dude, I just made another huge investment. I'm doing great, you know? Why are you walking down the street like a wino? Why are you walking down the street like a wino? God has blessed you. And then the demon would be like, there's a fucking tree right there. Kick the tree, you know? And shit. I was just hitting stuff. And I was like, man, the cops could have came over and be like, hey, you're being destructive and you're drunk on the street, dude. We're going to take you in. Then what? Do you guys see what I'm saying? This is the fuck up after the come up, dude. But the whole moral of the story, the whole moral of the story is to not fuck up. That's it. Don't mess up. It was easy because I didn't feel the need to drink, you know? I should have just took in my own advice when I saw that girl. Just look the other way, man. But my eyes, my eyes, my sinning eyes, you know, my eyes sin. So... That was a bad choice and it was a bad move my wife ended up meeting me like halfway up and she said oh you know i'm sorry it took longer than, than expected and i was like dude you took way longer than expected you know and she had to do some stuff for work but my phone was dead so she couldn't reach me um and i was upset i was upset i was like dude you made me look like you know some wino walking down the street you know like pissy drunk you know like because i i complain about the british getting like that here on the island they get pissy drunk and they act a fool and here i was here i was so that's another lesson about judging right because here i was 
judging and then that became me all of a sudden and so i was upset with that but and so we were arguing well we weren't arguing i was yelling and being aggressive and she was just being her typical beautiful self her typical beautiful self and um i i calmed down a little bit but then when i went home it continued dude it continued because i couldn't sleep and at this point i couldn't sleep because i was already feeling guilty of everything that i had done i was already feeling guilty of falling out of god's grace and i wanted to keep drinking so then what i did this was my saving grace this day i put on um melissa helser that song i raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemies that one can't sing you know but um and then she had like a whole worship session for a whole hour um i started listening to that man and oh my god i started feeling better i started feeling better and before you know it i was like getting sleepy calming down my wife came she got in bed with me she brought our cats in we locked them in because sometimes they don't like to be with us in the room so we locked them in so it was all of us were just hanging out and i ended up falling asleep which i never thought i would uh being uh, that i had a rough night but then uh when i woke up in the morning i felt like crap i know it wasn't just a hangover um i knew what what i had done the proof was in my fist and the proof is in how i was feeling so i i started praying again i started praying put on uh, some more worship music and before you know it um i got the the urge to want to go out to want to go out and uh to want to go out and go to the gym and you know come here here i am now after the gym and the reason i'm saying that is because what, what happens to me is I get depressed. I get depressed and I stay home. I'm a, I'm an introvert. So my go-to is to uh, like a shell. I go back into my shell, you know, like, um, you know, like, uh, what do you call it, like a turtle. I go back into my shell and that's my comfort zone. And my wife knows that and so she was urging me to go out. And it was her love, her love which is my saving grace too guys this is why it's so important to become one with christ with your wife with your partner with your husband become one with christ because when you're not doing that great their grace will save you i had fallen out of grace and her grace saved me and i still don't feel right i still don't feel right um it's gonna take a lot of repentance it's gonna take a lot of praying I know I'm instantly forgiven by God, but it's my own conscience. And that's how deep the bond I have with our Lord and with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That I don't feel right. So I'm gonna do more praying, and I'm I'm gonna go to church tomorrow. Today's Saturday, and I go early when I feel like this. I go early. I get on my knees. I I ask for forgiveness. I do the, the rosary, I do the, the Hail Mary, I do uh, the Our Father, and if possible, I'm even going to confess, because I haven't confessed in a while, and that's always uh, cathartic. You can start from, from anew whenever you do that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to get back to uh, my past, because I know you guys like that, um, but I still have a lot of uh, travel videos to upload. So stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, man, paradise is gonna be more of these to to come. Or I'm gonna take you guys snorkeling. Gotta love the GoPro. Uh, see you guys.